Hey guys, Joshua Peterson, Peterson Electric. Fifth part of this video, we've already gone over this. Um, it's a kitchen remodel for February 2018. Uh, we've already talked about the diagnostic of the issue, the planning and layout of adding circuits. Talked about our box fill, how to pull the wire, was there damage, and um, now we're implementing our overcurrent protection. So this panel is now, we've added circuits here, and we've added um, a quad here. This panel basically has uh, two more spots for half breakers and you can get a quad that'll still allow the black and red to share that neutral. Uh, so we have about two more circuits we can add to this panel. We did find an issue once we labeled that the furnace is tied with the hall and living room lights. Not a huge deal, but it should be by itself. The thing I want to show you is that we didn't arc fault anything there. We added an AFCI GFCI protector device here. When I trip that, um, it'll kill over here. The light, the disposal, and the plug are on it. So this did not have a plug serving this counter. It now does, and we put a stack and the light and the disposal in this, and that's all that's on that circuit. Over here, we implemented a brand new circuit and fed upward. Our microwave is tied to this one counter outlet. AFCI, GFCI protected just these two items. And this one, once I trip it, will basically kill the gas range downstairs. There's a plug I showed you with a light in this. Um, that's about the best that we could do to get this fixed without damaging everything in their kitchen. Now in here, it does state that it's AFCI and a GFCI issue of which one tripped and why. So that's kind of a nice feature on there that they show you that. So we did still meet our code requirement of 210.8, 210.12. .2 um, the refrigerator itself right here was the only thing that we uh, were not able to get a GFCI, AFCI device on. Um, I'm not sure if this constitutes within six foot to the edge of the sink, but it probably does. That could always be added in a full spot later since we didn't mess with it today. We're not going to deal with that, but we could put that fridge on that circuit right there and put a full um, breaker in for that, a dual action. So if you guys have any questions or comments, go ahead and get to me, get back to me. Other than that, you can see there was no damage done whatsoever, except for just behind the range around that uh, plug device and how that trimmed out, just to show you guys. Right down there, hopefully you can see that. It's a two gang plate and that's it. Oh, I gotta plug that in. Anyways, guys, thanks for joining us. Um, hopefully that will help you out. And uh, again, this kind of shows you how to update a kitchen and ho hopefully get minimal damage by tracing it and labeling it. Have, have a good one. Thanks.